YouTube is now banning comments on most videos featuring minors to protect them from child predators. This comes after reports that predators were allegedly using YouTube's comment section to share timestamps of when children were in compromising positions. YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki tweeted yesterday, nothing is more important to us than ensuring the safety of young people on the platform. The company said it disabled comments from tens of millions of videos. It is also working on a new system to better detect and remove predatory comments. Wired senior writer and CBS News contributor Issy Lepowski is here. Good morning. Good morning. So what do you make of this move? Well, I think YouTube is making a pretty strong statement that this predatory behavior has no place on the YouTube platform. Remember, YouTube's entire ball game is generating engagement. It's getting people to watch videos. It's getting people to comment on them. So this is a big business move for them. They say that it's going to take months to roll out to suspend all these comments because, of course, they have to first identify the videos that are at risk for these kinds of comments. So it's a really big deal. And a number of companies have already pulled ads, correct? Absolutely. AT&T has pulled ads. Hasbro has told some companies, some reporters that they pulled ads. So obviously, this is not just the public outcry, but there's there's outcry from, from YouTube's advertisers. They can take a small hit, but they need to do something fast. There have been a number of reports that there are videos with very popular children's characters like Peppa the Peppa the Pig. Mm -hmm. I should know this more, but my son <laughs> is not old enough to watch Peppa the Pig. But Peppa the Pig is hugely popular, and there are reports that there's obscene content in those videos. What, what can parents do? Peppa the Pig, Minecraft, it's a lot of really popular children's franchises. Uh, and th this is content that's basically masquerading as kids' content, but then it glorifies suicide or school shootings. It's really scary stuff. So steps parents can take, first step is go to YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids offers a lot more parental controls than the YouTube main app. On YouTube Kids, you can pick trusted channels that YouTube has selected, so think PBS or Sesame Workshop. Parents can also create their own customized list so you know what your kids like to watch and what they're gonna be begging you to watch. So you can create that list of channels and approved videos. You can turn off search ability, um, and you can set a passcode so that you know older, smarter kids uh, aren't able to override your settings. You can also set these settings um, based on the age of your children. You can create different profiles for your children. So parents uh, do need to be a little bit proactive here because there's really scary stuff out there. Yeah, passwords and codes are key. Uh, can you address this, this Momo challenge and whether or not this is hoax or if it's actually real and, and it is this uh, online concern that children are being encouraged to hurt themselves? Right, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. Okay. It's a hoax. Okay. Can't say it enough. The more we talk about it, tends to give oxygen to this kind of thing. Uh, this is, you know, started as a viral hoax, intended to worry parents, intended to get people talking about it. But YouTube has said, and, and reporters have found, there's no evidence that children are actually taking action on these videos, or that these videos are even really spreading in any kind of way. Um, but that's not to say that there isn't risk out there, that there aren't videos that are glorifying suicide and that are targeted to kids. So as we talked about, parents need to take these precautions. If it's not against Momo, there's a lot of other stuff out there that you need to be cautious of. How quickly can YouTube clean up something like this? Because they've had various issues over time. Advertisers have been nervous. They've said they're going to. Is it possible to sort of dispense with this quickly, get the advertisers back, or is this a really labor intensive? Well, they, by their own admission, it's going to take them months to address this comment issue because you think about how tough this is. YouTube tries to address a lot of this stuff with algorithms, right? And algorithms know how to, how to find sexually explicit content or violent, gra graphic violence. Um, but a lot of these these timestamps, a lot of these comments appear benign in isolation. It's only when you match them up to the videos themselves that you realize really how, how sinister they are. So this is a whole new learning experience for YouTube. So they're working on their algorithms, rolling them out to try to find this stuff a lot faster. So last question, I don't have to watch all these videos with my kids then, right? Steps are, are being made and taken. To, to make sure what our kids are watching are safe. I think that you should still, uh, you know, monitor your kids' watch history, make sure that you know what channels they're watching. I don't think you have to watch every one of these videos, and they are taking those steps, but there's no replacement for a parent's guidance. There's so much, only so much Peppa I can take. Yeah. YouTube is now banning comments on most videos featuring minors to protect them from child predators. This comes after reports that predators were allegedly using YouTube's comment section to share timestamps of when children were in compromising positions.